Hey, Gender Queer Chat. I'm Ricky, and I'm doing a little uh, sub video for this week. Uh, this week's topic is um, pick your own topic slash Dan Savage. Uh, so I'm not very good at picking my own topics, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Dan Savage. Uh, when I first read Dan Savage, I was like, hmm, who is that? That sounds familiar. So I looked him up, and I was like, oh yeah, it's this guy. He's uh, kind of a douche, you know? A little bit. He uh, He's done some things that I just think are wrong, and... Uh, Eh. But I have to say, I want to start off by saying that he's the guy that started um, the It Gets Better campaign, and I really like that. Like, I think that is a really, really amazing thing, and I think, you know, that the it's probably saved lives, and it's, it's a really great thing, really, really great thing, and I, I think it's really <laughs> great. Did I say great? <laughs> I think it's really great that he did that. Um, but he, he, the, uh, the stuff, I remember, what I remember about Dan Savage is, I think it was a couple of years ago, and there was some law in the States that was being passed about, you know, that was, they were trying to pass some law, and, uh, government officials that voted against it, um, he, he outed them, and I, I don't like that, I think that's just, it is sort of mean. I don't like when people are being mean. When you're mean to people, they don't want to listen to you anyway. They don't want to, like, take your... You know, they're not going to reason with you or, like... It's just mean for the sake of being mean. And, uh, eh, eh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because people, you know, I don't like people being closeted. And I don't like people voting against gay rights and all that. But at the same time, you know, outing somebody else, that's their life. You know, that's, that's their life you're messing with. And I don't think anyone has the right to do that. And if an individual has made the choice to be in the closet, they should, you know, it's, that's their choice to make. And sort of going and, like, ruining somebody else just because they don't agree with your politics is not, not a very nice thing to do. Um, the other thing that I, I heard about him was that he, he, when he was sick with the flu one time, he was, he went into some conservative campaign and, like, licked the guy's pen and, like, doorknobs and got, like, germs and stuff all over stuff, which is really, really gross, like, really gross. I don't like that at all. And I think that like purposefully infecting somebody else with a virus is really awful. You know, you don't, you never know, you know, people, sort of the average person thinks of the flu as being something that is, you know, sort of, you know, a couple of days of being a little bit sick and it's not a big deal, but you never know who's going to have a really negative reaction to the flu. I mean, people die from the flu every year just because most people are okay. Like, I'm one of those people, I get really sick from the flu, like really sick for, you know, almost two weeks, and it's, you know, it's really unpleasant. But then there's people, you never know if somebody, even if somebody gets the flu and they go home to like an elderly person or an infant and they infect that person and then they die and it's like, it's just, I think it's just completely irresponsible. I don't think that's okay at all. And, uh... You know, so I don't agree with that, but I also don't agree with, uh, you know, the politics of those conservative people. I just don't think that it's it's okay to infect anybody, no matter who they are or what their politics are. Um, the other thing he did was he, um, he made, like, a campaign or something where he, he ended up, like, I don't, I forget if he, like, made the campaign or whatever, but he, uh, the, this one guy made a comment about homosexuality and, like, com in comparison, like, could be compared to bestiality or incest, which is a terrible thing to say. Absolutely terrible. But then Dan Savage used 
that guy's last name as a definition for uh, like something really gross. <laughs> I don't even feel comfortable like saying it, but <laughs> something real gross. <laughs> If you want to know, look it up. Like, look up Dan Savage, and you'll figure it out. He, yeah, I don't think that's okay. You know, I don't think it's okay to do that to people. I feel like when you're gonna be a douchebag and you're gonna be an ass about stuff, like, you can't. Like people, you just can't expect people to take you seriously. People are not gonna, you know, listen to what you have to say. You know, sort of. Scaring people out of, you know, voting against your politics by, you know, making it clear that you're going to attack them in some way is not a nice thing to do, and I don't agree with that at all. And uh, it's sort of weird because when you, you know, we I agree with, you know, I am pro-gay rights and all of that stuff, like, all the same, similar things that he, you know, he has, his beliefs are on, I think anyone, I mean, anyone, like, watching this channel or who is queer is probably has similar beliefs, but, like, he's just such an ass about it, you know, like, it's not okay to do, like, a lot of the things that he's done, and, uh Anyway, that being said, I have to say again that the It Gets Better campaign is awesome. It's amazing. I love it. I think it's really, really great thing. And I am grateful to him for starting that. Um, so, yeah, this is my video. Uh, see you, Gender Queer Chat. <laughs> Bye.